Hello and welcome back everyone. This is Resin with me and I'm Brandy. So I've got a very exciting project today. Um, so I think I've, I've mentioned plenty of times that I follow uh, the other resin and acrylic painting channel called uh, Pouring Your Heart Out. And she also, Julie from that channel, makes uh, some molds. And I had really been wanting to buy this mold uh, for a while, so I finally did. Um, one second. <laughs> Charlie, hey, stop. Stop. Okay, that is life with, with dogs, y'all. <laughs> um, so the mold comes with, it's, so it's a coaster. <laughs> I can collect my thoughts it's a coaster set for coasters this is the mold so I bought two items I bought the mold itself for the coasters and then I bought these mold inserts and if y'all remember a couple videos ago I did um, a crushed velvet look with a tray actually let me find it All right, so here's the tray that I did with the crushed velvet look. Um, and I used plastic wrap to make the, you know, kind of scrunches, scrunched look. Uh, so this is just supposed to be a little bit easier because the molds are already scrunched up, have that look already. And so, yes, I bought the mold as well as the inserts and you just pop them. So you can use the mold, you know, without the inserts, of course. But for the inserts, you just pop it in there and, you know, just kind of pull the sides out to make sure that you've got a really good seal. And you can press that insert down. And, you know, I mean, resin's really going to go into any crack that it can. So you, you probably will end up with a little bit running down the side between the insert and the mold. And that's okay because what we are going to do later is turn these over and pour some more. Yeah, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> so, um, I am going to go ahead and start using the chameleon powder on here. I'm going to go with mint to be today, which is a green, green and gold. And I will go ahead and use the little spoon that these powders came with. And then I will just use a brush to spread it around. Okay, so there is some excess powder in here that I don't really want to remain in there. I want to kind of blow it out. Normally, I would use this little, uh, you know, like, uh, what's it called? Cleaning duster. So what you use for, like, your keyboard to blow out dust. Um, but I don't, it's empty. I need a new one. So I'm going to try just kind of blowing it with my heat gun. Make sure to close that so I don't blow all of it away. And yes, there's there's glitter everywhere around here, y'all. I can't help it. I I like to use glitter. Okay, so that got rid of that excess powder. Um, and I'm gonna clean the edges really quickly. I think with hopefully a cotton wipe I'm sorry uh, an alcohol wipe should get that clear and then I will be back once I mix up the resin that I'm going to use on the first layer so I will be right back all right so I've got my resin all mixed up it's a really dark purple I think to you maybe it looks black but it's a dark purple um that I made with just some purple mica powder and then added some black pigment paste to make it darker and we are just going to pour this over. All right, so resin. 
resin is poured and popped the bubbles with the heat gun. I'm sorry, the blowtorch, blowtorch. <laughs> and you can kind of see here that more so in this one because it has the light, the excess powder rises up to the top. And so that's why um, this is actually like what you see here is the bottom and we'll end up flipping these over and adding a clear coat on top. So um, that's what we'll do tomorrow. So I'm gonna let these cure overnight so that they're set in the morning. Um, hopefully they're you know uh, hard enough that I can take them out of the mold and then turn them over and stick them back in. But yeah, um, we will be back once we are ready to do that. So I will see you then. All right, so it's the next day and uh, the coasters are pretty set there. Nice and hard. Um, the pups are eating their dinner, so I'm gonna try to take advantage of them being distracted and get these out of the mold. So, so here's the bottom, here's the insert. And we'll just get that off. So it comes off pretty easily. There's a little bit of powder that I can clean off. But there it is. Alrighty. So there's first one and then so they pop out pretty easily there's like a little bit of resin in here and you can see on this one some of the resin got under the insert and I mean that's just gonna happen sometimes that's it's a liquid it's gonna get in wherever it can So there's this extra um, resin, let's see, just right around there where, you know, it, it seeped into the space between the mold and the insert. And I knew that was going to happen. Uh, so I'll probably just go back and kind of trim it off a little bit. But to me, it's not really a big deal because I'm going to put them back in here like that and then pour the clear on it. So, and I do want to dome the clear resin so you know this this extra bit right here on this on the edges it's gonna go away anyway so um it's not a big deal oh that one had some extra get underneath there you can see it just pops right off okay. so there is like a gold color that's not really coming across on the camera very well but it looks green and gold Charlie's a very loud drinker, so sorry about that. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and just, with that excess resin on the edges, I'm just going to go in and, and kind of peel off any of it that's really loose that already wants to break off. And then once I do that, I will get them back into the mold and mix up some clear, and I will see you back here when we're ready to put on that top coat. All right, so we've got the um, coasters all trimmed up and back into the mold, just turned the other way so that the green is facing us. Got my clear resin and we just have to add it to the top. All 
All right, and like I said, I do want to dome these, so I'm just gonna kind of get down, get eye level with um, my counter and just make sure, see what, where I need to add some extra resin. So they are all doming slightly. That's good. I'm going to leave it there. And I will continue to come back and um, heat these up with the torch because on the sides, you know, that resin's going to get in there and it causes bubbles to come up on the edges. Um, so I'm just going to, you know, keep checking on it and torch those edges for any bubbles that come up. But yeah, I will see you back when it's time to unmold these and we can see the finished product. All right, so it is the next day and the coasters are all set up. You can see I did add my little heart and I used the new uh, flower bookmarks that I got. And for those um, in the clear resin that I used for the top coat, I just mixed in some of the Don't Fuchsia Around Chameleon Powder and this is what came out. So let's go ahead and get the coasters out. They do come out pretty easily and on the bottom you can see kind of right there some of that clear did seep through but you know I knew that was going to happen so that's okay. Oh yeah they just pop right out. Yeah they don't get stuck that's a really good mold. They're nice and thick too. And you can see there's the green and then the clear top so very thick very sturdy coasters and I guess we can pop out the little heart too He's not quite as easy to get out. Okay, so the heart did kind of get stuck and I had to use the X-Acto knife to get it off of the mold. Um, so that, that's sad, because that messes up the mold itself. But, you know, I really got it for the coaster, so uh, let's see. There's our little heart and you can see that's where the mold got stuck. And then I did do these flower bookmarks as well, so we can take a peek at those. I like how thin they are. Uh, so there's some other molds, like the ones that I, I typically use, the rectangular ones, that are kind of thicker, but um, I really like how thin these are. And they are, you know, it's like a, it, it's like a plastic one would be. It's still bendy because it's so thin. All right, so I like those. Those are cute to use up extra resin. Oh, and then I did use the little baby pyramid mold that I got also. So <laughs> there's a little pyramid. I kind of want to get a bigger one just so that I can use more resin and just have a bigger one. All right, so for the coasters, I did want to go ahead and add a gold trimming, and I realized it's actually been a while since I, I showed how I do that. So just really quickly, I wanted to show. I used the Deco Color Premium just because it, it's really the, I like the quality of it. It has kind of the shiniest finish that I've tried. And so that's really all I do is just go around the edge and paint it with the pen. And then for the top, I do like to do like a, a slight edge. And so that's what it would ultimately look like you know of course I'll go in and add around the edge as well but that's what it'll look like and I think the only thing that I might change next time since I do have all these other chameleon powders is um 
I think I would do more of the dark color on the back just so that when I add in the clear, um, the, the color's gonna sit higher. It's gonna sit closer to the top right now. It's a little down below um, where I would like for it to be, meaning I had to use a lot of clear. But what do you think? I, I really, really like it. Let me get this ring light out of the way. Well, and then it's just dark. Okay, let me try to <laughs> angle it at least. Between the ring light. All right, let's come here. Can we do that? Okay, right there, there we go. So yeah, I think that's um very, very pretty. Very pretty. Looks just like crushed velvet to me. But let me know what you think. I am probably going to try this effect out with all of my other chameleon powders. So I'll throw in some other projects too, just so you don't get tired of me doing the same one in different colors. But I do want to have a set in each color. And they are very nice, very pretty, very sturdy, nice and thick also big for larger cups so i'm very happy with this mold again i got it from um pouring your heart out uh, she does have an ebay store so that's where i got that and yeah i will see you all next time have a great day